Okay, well that peace and quiet lasted exactly... 0 0.3 seconds. <laughs> My favorite measurement of time. Now we're gonna go upstairs. Upstairs where happy things happen. Nothing bad, we're just here to visit some prisoners and... <clears throat> Am I talking excessively because I don't want to hear what's happening in this prison? I may be. Mm, am I gonna save again? Also maybe? No, no, definitely actually. It's free, damn it. Alright, alright. Reaping what I sow. What am I reaping? Oh my frickin... <laughs> Candles? What era are we in? Okay, we've been here. We've actually been here. Maybe we can open up the place so that we can link it all up. Oh, we're above the church. Ready to confess my sins, Father. <laughs> what was that? Hello. Oh, I missed you. I miss when you guys were still just on the ground, not doing whatever the hell you're doing. Right. Okay. This leads us back to where we just were with the um, the other door. Might be a quick way to get back to the yard later. But for now, we will continue to go up. Oh god, what is that? Some other methods of... Execution. Warden's office, and then the big room. Oh, the warden's office probably overlooks the yard. Maybe? Six 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 various six various The first step to getting help is to is to recognize it. Uh how about sick? Oh I spelled sick wrong. Oh it automatically it's automatically spelling it right. No matter what I type in. No matter what I typed in, it was sick. Hi! What's up? You little asshole. What was that for? Just below? Almost don't want to save in the... Warden's office is not a good place. <sighs> okay, now we got the little weight. Hey, it's going by okay fastish. Found in the warden's room. They all have little markings on them, I guess. Hey, where'd that little loser go? You know, it's a um, very subtle bit of storytelling. It took a lot of documents and environmental clues for me to realize this, but I think, I suspect, the warden may have been sick. I don't know, what do you think? Maybe it's a bit too outlandish of a theory. Because everyone here is... They've been very mentally well. Uh, what? Oh! What? The door's closed! Why? Oh, because the hornless ox door is closed. I see. Wait, then how can we get back? We, we can get back through the... the door next to block D. I think. The door next to block D. 
right around here. Normal door. Get the hell out of here. Someone else is here. Never know where this is exactly. Now we go. Do we just go ham? Put everything on this side? Oh, it's a little bit over. Way over. Can you just put this down? And then we'll get like a little one? No? Okay, maybe get this one over. They probably... this last one, we might need to use all of them. Like, that's the point of getting all the blocks, right? So, the solution probably involves all of them. There we go. There we go. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Keep going. Now, we actually haven't even been downstairs yet. Very big unknown for me. Oh my god! I thought I got you! Jump now, or forever hold your peace. See this, I haven't been down here yet. Oh, it's just the door, fantastic. I thought there was a whole other floor. Uh, that means I can't even examine this. I wonder what it was supposed to be. Can we mark this on our map? Yeah, like I never wrote, what? <laughs> All right. Calm down, calm down. I'm like missing like crazy right now. Yeah, I'm not sure what this was supposed to be. I didn't mark down the... the thing, which hopefully James will do as soon as I... No, he never marked it down. Now we'll never find out what this bird was. What appendage it was missing. Oh my god. All right, cool. Cool. Nice. It's watery. Lots of water. Going crazy. Big block. Okay. Can I get into this room? No. That is a big fat no. Hug the wall. When in doubt, hug the wall and just... Keep going. I <laughs> still haven't even tried using the rifle yet. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Oh, those are just dots. Look, they're spikes. These rooms are spiked rooms. When would you be going to a spiked room? Am I allowed to walk into the spiked room without getting hurt? The ground is spiked. Hug the wall, all right? One of these days, we're gonna get trapped inside one of these cells. I'm 
so upset. Close to dropping under 100 bullets. How will I ever live? What was the red? Is it a save point? Oh, it's that light there. Can you open this? Hmm. Oh, I love the red light here. There's a exclamation mark on this. Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Exclamation mark is for F6. What was with that cell? I'm not sure. That was one of the ones that we could look into, I guess. We will... Let me look around this floor. I did not kill that guy. This feels like taking a nap, a sweet nap, compared to those spider guys. Did that body leave? What? Wasn't there a body here? <laughs> Off car for one second. Come on, we gotta get the 30 drinks. Hi? Hi! Hi. What's up? Ah! Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. Oh, this pipe has been super MVP the whole time. Oh, hi! No! I don't know where the hell we are. What do you think is the capacity of this- Ooh. Of this prison. That's a lot of cells. We've basically been through like every cell and someone was doing some arcane magic in here. And they were reading a lot of books. Weird rituals. Stuff. Oh dear god. F15. We can get into the room. Which is way too damn quiet. Ooh! We can open F6. Due to recent acts of inmate violence, prisoners D239 has been transferred to solitary confinement, cell F6. Which of course we are going to open, because why? Because Wait, why did we... I, I don't know why we already put an exclamation mark there. I don't remember seeing anything special inside the cells. Maybe the crazy one is me? Well, be free, my guy. Both at the same time? Both at the same time. Both at the same damn time. F6. 
F5. Nothing. F6. Oh, there was something on the ground. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I couldn't let them take you. And now you're... You're still there, aren't you? What? There's more? The lightest weight. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. Yes, the door is not locked. You can come in. Maybe that has some symbolic meaning. We get locked in the room. <laughs> Some type of psychological torture. <laughs> there are two leaf buds engraved on the lightest weight. Let's go, let's go. I'm surprised we needed another weight because I thought we already opened all four rooms. Oh! Oh, would you look at that? Can't... Cannot turn the lights on anymore, for whatever reason. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, what? Yeah, this one I can examine, but I couldn't examine that bird room anymore because I opened- the first time I saw it, I already opened it. Hey! Glad we, uh, got some lights installed here. <sighs> Record time, man. What else do you want from me? The lightest weight. Oh, there's a sword in the middle. Do you want to put it in the middle? No, it's too heavy. A little bit too much? Ah... No. Oh, so close. Come on. Wait, do we have to use all of them? Maybe we don't have to. Oh. Execution lever. A lever used to operate the gallows in Toluca prison. They have the electric chair. Why do they have... Do people get to choose their methods, their own methods of execution? Is that a thing? Whoa. Okay, there is multiple plaques here. Let's see. For your grace, I do not plead. For the flames I did set free. Sisters shrieked and children cried. No one made it out alive. Like a arsonist? The wealth of others I did take. The seventh statute I did break. And yet my deeds I don't regret. I had my reasons. That is that. A thief? What is the seventh statute? 
Is that like a US thing? Not sure. Couldn't really find anything. Okay. I took the child. You were quite right. Carried her off into the night. She did not scream. She did not fall. I was her father, after all. Father kidnapping their own child? Yes, that can be a thing. Just because you're the dad. Once the sun has ceased its reign, I cut through the rusty chain, pushed the door and snuck within, filled my pockets to the brim. So this is kind of like thievery again, same as the other one. Uh, but this one's like, maybe this one attacked somebody? Not sure. Mommy dearest, mommy sweet, your love for me was so deep. Why oh why you shouted out when my knife pierced through your heart. Oh. It kind of reminded me of Angela looking for her mom. Ooh. I waited long, I bid my time. I waited to commit my crime. The man appeared, he saw me not. A bloody end is what he got. Murder? And then there's a whole bunch of plaques at the bottom here. Six? Six up top, six on the bottom. What were those reasons, you might ask? The truth allow me to unmask. I see, I crave, I need, I take. Tis all the sense it needs to make. You broke my legs, I couldn't walk. You pulled my teeth, I couldn't talk. You fed me pills to slow my mind. I took your life before you took mine. Are these like the reasons for the crimes? Forgive me, child, for I have failed to save you from her wretched ways. She whom I love, who gave you life. A monster hiding in plain sight. Maybe this is the father one? In truth, I did not hesitate, as my blade sealed the poor man's fate. He knew the rules, they are quite clear. Go against me, your rend is near. The murder? I watched them burn, I heard them cry. I felt the soothing warmth inside. It felt so good, I cannot lie. And for my bliss, they had to die. The arsonist? I departed with great haste, leaving not a single trace, ever faithful to my creed. All is right, which feeds my greed. The thievery? Wait, so what do we do with this though? Do we put it to the right one? Oh, oh, ah, I see. Okay, I think we have some idea of some of them already. In truth, I did not hesitate. So this one? The murder? Forgive me, child. The father kidnapping the kid? You broke my legs, I couldn't walk. Um, maybe the mother killer one? Damn, people. If these were the people in the prison, that's kind of, it's pretty rough. This is a thievery. But the, the thievery ones, I'm not too sure about, because there's two that seem a little bit similar to me. What were the reasons, you might ask? Oh. Did I do it right? Like, could I still move it more? No, I don't think I can move it. It's stuck here now. So... Okay, now, now we're gonna pick the one that's the most guilty, I guess? What, what I think is the most guilty. So this is an arsonist. They just burn people because they felt like it, and it felt good, and they cannot lie. That doesn't sound like a great reason. This is also just, I stole from people because I wanted to. So this is a father kidnapping the child from a mother who the father perceived as hurting the child. Mm, a little bit grayer. This is a stealing one, which seems okay because as far as stealing goes, it doesn't seem like they hurt anybody. They just snuck into a house and took money. Um, this daughter or son is saying that they killed their mom because their mom was hurting them.
Not sure what this man did to get killed, but the killer thinks they did something. Mm -mm. He knew the rules. They are quite clear. Go against me. Eh. Uh, well, I mean, the arsonist one... Which one is the most guilty? It might really just depend on more how they say it, because... I don't like how the arsonist guy is like... Oh, I watched them burn. They cried. It was so soothing. So this one sounds pretty bad. Sisters shrieked and children died. Multiple people died. If you look at it from like a how many people died, how many people were hurt perspective, this person got a lot of people. The arsonist. Number one. James. Whoa! <coughs> Holy sh- Oh, we gotta go. <laughs> we fell down into some undergroundish area. Oh, why'd you all come here all at once? Where are we? No map. Oh, we could have left here. I just saw that there was a thing here and it was caged. So I didn't even try looking around. I don't know if the choice of which rope to pick... Well, I, I just sort of picked the one that I thought was the, the worst because I guess we're killing them, right? Pulling the rope represents killing them. Hmm. I feel like when people do something bad, especially like murder, I mean, I don't really know how a murderer would think, but do they think they're right in general? They're not thinking, oh, I'm killing someone, I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> especially like psycho serial killers, they think they're just in the right to do that, I guess. I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh! We're back here. So what was the point in doing that? Did I pick the wrong one? Am I supposed to pick... ...a different one? You don't like that one? Are you- do you want me to pick one that's like similar to my own situation or something? But well, none of these are really... It just said pull- it said pull the thing once. Oh, choose the one justified from among the damned. No, we're trying to pick the innocent one, not- not the guilty one. Wait, why are we- why are we killing the innocent person? In that case, I would pick either the mommy one or the dad kidnapping one, maybe. It's not great, but I'll try number three then. Oh, 
Oh, this one seems different. The cutscene. Oh. Why are we hanging the innocent person? But this is a- there's a correct and wrong answer here. It's not a choose whatever you think kind of situation. No map. Why did we kill the innocent person? Is that what actually happened? Kinda goes... Mm, a little bit tangential, but the nature of a death penalty... Oh, we're going down even more. Okay, yeah, sure, do whatever you want. Like, um... The death penalty means that there is gonna be a possibility of making a mistake. And when you kill someone, you obviously can't go back and... Undo that. Which I guess makes the whole thing a bit controversial. Did someone in Silent Hill die innocently? Or maybe we shouldn't be using the word innocently. They were justified. They did kill someone, but they had a reason. And we're saying... We're, we're casting a judgment on whether that reason was sufficient from our point of view. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. We're never getting out of here. <sighs> Just going deeper and deeper. Impossibly deeper. Oh shit! Oh! Well shit. Didn't even get to try that door. Do you think it would have been open? Oh! Elevators during emergencies! No, 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 no. That door probably would have been locked anyway, but I didn't get to try it, so now I'm left wondering. Was it ever gonna be open? <sighs> of course, no map. And how somehow, going beneath all of that concrete stuff, we're back to something that looks like an apartment building. The door, at least. Sorry to disturb. <laughs> I'm amazed at myself for even trying those doors when there's weird whispers coming from all of them. The zh of a man later identified as Thomas Oro Z Lumberjack, aged 39 was discovered in the zh um lying far zh lying face down. The probable cause of death was multiple stab wounds to the front of the neck and the left side of the torso by a sharp-edged weapon. The estimated time of death was somewhere between 11pm and 12.30 midnight. 
Due to signs of struggle in the room and the lack of a murder weapon, police are considering this a homicide and have opened a murder investigation. Furthermore, given the fact that the cash in the room was untouched and Mr. Oro Zhim had a history of drunkenness and violence, the police suspect that the motive was not robbery, but a passion of crime of something. Thomas Oro something. A lumberjack. So a murder? Angela? Well, this is all- this is the one that's all newspapered up. Hey, the layout of this room. The layout of this room seems- I might be overthinking it. Do you remember when we found Angela in the apartments, and she was just laying around with a knife? That room had two doors like that, I vaguely remember. Is this mimicking that layout? Yeah, there was a kitchen here and all. Is this supposed to be... the layout of Angela's actual home? Because if so, we can start using environmental clues to guess maybe what went on in her home. For example, stuff like plates being smashed, unhappy home life. Bottles. Somebody was a drinker. I'm not sure though, but I feel like this is the same. This is the same layout, isn't it? One is boarded up, one isn't. Some kid's room? Angela's room? Please. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Angela? Hallucinations? Angela, it's me. Oh. What am I looking at? What is that? Oh, what the hell? Can I run? Oh my god! What is happening? What the hell is that? It's like- it's like two people. A door? Angela's dad? A3031. I don't even know. Was it like a person on top of a. Angela! Angela! Oh! Shit! They're saying, hey, you got a rifle, use it. Angela, it's me. It's 
It's me! Oh, why can't we go... Why can't we actually go different ways? What? Oh, I don't think we would have been able to follow her. Maybe that would have been, like, locked. Because she blocked me. I don't know what is happening. Like, Angela, this closet. It's where she hid when things got bad. At home? Was her father abusive? Like, there was the alcohol bottle and all. Oh. My. We have to go to the closet. It works. It works for a little bit. Because the closet is small and dad is huge. He can't get in. It's my little escape. Angela got really upset last time when we said, like, little girl or something. Maybe that's the kind of thing that her dad said to her. gonna come out. <laughs> the places are repeating pretty much. I don't know if we're meant to kill it or outrun it. Because the TV, destroying the TV might be part of it too. What the hell are these? Why are the rooms... Oh my god, is he beating Angela? Oh. 
What the frick is this? Can't leave. Try. Try what? Like you don't know? I'm not gonna hurt you. I see what you're doing. It's always the same with you. You're only after one thing. Oh no. Angela, please. You don't have to lie. Go ahead. Say it. You could just force me. <laughs> like he always did. Oh. <laughs> you disgusting pig. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. Angela. I don't know who you think I am, but I don't want to hurt you. I just want to get my Mary back. You're Mary. Is James listening? Your own little Mary. At least she was. For a while. What? Admit it. You didn't want her around anymore. Whoa. You know Mary too? No. You probably found someone else. No. Is she just saying stuff to get under my skin? to find my mama. You probably found someone else. You just didn't want her around anymore. Um, I'm a little bit like... I feel like James, whenever he sees someone else, he says surface level things that sounds... They sound like he cares about people. Like, oh yeah, like Angela, you should do this, you should do that. Eddie, do this, do that. And I don't know if it's because... Because, you know, James is the avatar of the player and all that, but sometimes I feel like there are some obvious things in context that James is like, Oh, whoa, what are you talking about? For example, when we saw Angela um, at the park, she's like, I don't think she wants to see me anymore. And James is like, who? And then... I, I just from what we saw here, it, I think it's really obvious that Angela was talking about her daddy, her, her father. And James is like, I don't know who you're talking about. Like, it kind of comes off as not really giving a crap about other people, which might match with what's happening because he really cares about this whole Mary business. Maybe everyone else is sort of like a whatever thing. 
I don't know, man. Like, I... <sighs> okay, that was really heavy. Mm, one thing before I forget. What about the boss fights so far? One thing that I I feel like maybe a little bit lacking is I never feel like there is really much feedback. Whether my shot is doing something, am I supposed to complete the boss fight by defeating them, by lowering them to a certain amount of health? Or am I supposed to do it by running around, breaking TVs? Because whenever we shoot somebody, it, they don't flinch in any way. Not very obviously anyway, so yeah, that's a part... That's one thing that I'm like, hmm, am I just like wasting my bullets on something that doesn't even work right now, or what's happening? Back to this. Okay, yeah, that was, um... Did Angela kill her dad? Because, I mean, the, the, the gist of the story we're getting here is that Angela... No, she did not have a happy home life. Her dad was abusing her. In... Probably various ways. Uh, I'm... I, uh, I kind of got a bad feeling when I saw this figure was like... It kind of looks like one person lying on top of another, right? But like, what? Oh, God. I'm wondering what role her mother and her brother played in this. Like, she's only here to look for her mom. So I want to believe that mom didn't know or didn't have a part in this. Oh, it's really difficult, though, because you definitely hear stories in real life how, like, even someone like, in this kind of situation, the mom would be like, oh, you're, you're lying. And they'll trust the husband over the daughter and all that. And then the brother, like, I... I don't know, man. There's just so many things that could be happening here, and I none of them are pleasant to think about. <sighs> Everyone that we've met so far seem to have little little trigger words that probably relate to their backstory. Like, um... I think when we saw Eddie before... Like, oh, what did he... He was like, he made fun of me! So maybe he got bullied before. And then Laura, oh, what about your parents? And then she didn't say anything. There was something going on with her parents, and then Eddie getting made fun of, bullied. Angela, obviously. Hmm. <sighs> Angela, can we help her in any way? I would like to help her, but I don't know about James. He's all like... Operation Find Mary, I guess. 